What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another wallet review. And uh, honestly, I should just start my own wallet channel because I review so many wallets. But let me know in the comments if you guys are continuing to like these wallet reviews. I will keep doing them as long as you guys like them. So please let me know down below. Some feedback would be great. Um, and this is another review from a company called Atelier Pal or Atelier Paul. I probably butchered that name, so if you guys are watching this, I do apologize. Uh, let me know how to correctly pronounce it down in the comments, please, just so I know for future reference. Um, but this is one of their minimal wallets. If you go on their website, go to minimal wallets. This is one of their many different kinds of wallets. It's called the Snap Wallet, and it goes for $34.99 on their website. Now this, uh, you know, this review is going to be pretty much positive. There's two small little gripes I have with this wallet. I'm going to get those out of the way right now just to put it in the air uh, because the rest of this review is really good. I actually really like this wallet. So there's two little gripes that I have with it. One of them is if you scroll through their website, uh, they say that they source their, um, their leathers from different tanneries around the U.S., but they don't say which ones. Me personally, I like to know where my leather comes from. So if you guys are watching this, uh, you know, at Lear Paul, if you guys are watching, um, that would be something that I would personally like to know. It's nothing against the wallet. It's just something that I would like to know personally. I'd like to know where the leather comes from just so I can look, you know, I like to know the history of the leather and the history of the tannery. It just makes the wallet that much more interesting to me personally. And then uh, the second gripe I have with it is I don't really like the combination of the smooth leather, uh, the smooth leather and the suede. Some people might like that. Uh, it's not that it's ugly. It's just not my personal style. I like the whole entire wallet um, to be a smooth leather because I like the way that smooth leather patinas. Uh, suede doesn't patina uh, the way that leather does, and I like the look of patinaed leather better, leather better more than suede, me personally. So those are just the two little gripes that I have with it. Um, I, you know, I still think the wallet looks nice. It looks very, very sleek. It's a nice professional wallet. Um, so that was just the only two little gripes I have with it. You know, again, nothing against the wallet in particular, just two, just two things that I found. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know about it, just to be honest, because I told them I would give them an honest review. So let me go through this wall. I'll walk you through kind of the, the design of it. So it has this clasp on the front, and you simply open that, and there is a spot in the middle. Now on their website, uh, they say that you're supposed to put cash in there, and then the cards go on the two outside pockets. Me personally, I am afraid that my cards are gonna slip and fall out. Uh, as you see here, uh, the cards aren't falling out right now because the wallet is still pretty new. I haven't used it a ton, so it hasn't, um, you know, formed around the cards. It hasn't patinaed yet. Um, but I feel as soon as that leather gets softer, I feel like those cards are going to slip out. So if you drop your wallet or you, you know, you fumble with your wallet in the store, your cards might fall out and that's not going to be, uh, that's going to be no fun. So what I chose to do is I, I arranged it a little different as I put the, all my cards in that middle spot where the cash is supposed to go. Then I put my cash and my receipts on either side of the wallet. That's how I like to personally carry it. Uh, carry it. So um, there's a little tidbit for you if you wanna carry it like me, and there you go. So the durability of the wallet seems to be pretty good. Um, the, uh, the button clasp seems to latch down very tight, doesn't really come loose. It seems like it's pretty sturdy. And then the sewing on the side seems to be pretty good. Another thing I couldn't find on their website is what type of thread they used. Uh, I could have I could have just glazed over it and didn't see, so I do apologize, but uh, I didn't see that anywhere on their website. Now this wallet I feel like will be really good for travel because you can fit a lot in this wallet and it still keeps a very slim profile. So uh, this is actually a pop-off leather wallet. This is a bifold black leather wallet. And this is it filled up with the same amount of cards I have in the Atelier Paul wallet. Now, as you see, it's dramatically, dramatically thicker. So this would be really good if you're a, tra you know, if you're a, if you're a business person and you're traveling a lot and you need to carry a lot of cash, cards, and receipts. This thing is probably your best option that you're going to find out there. It, it still keeps a really slim profile and it's really easy to access your cash and your receipts and cards all at once. Because all you got to do is open that little button and you are good to go. Uh, but that's pretty much all I gotta say about the wallet, guys. Uh, overall, I think this is a fantastic wallet and I would definitely recommend this wallet. It will be linked below and I'll see you guys in the next review. Stay humble. Peace.